I'm June Hansberger, and I'm a science teacher at La Costa Canyon High School. I've taught here for 20 years, and I am so excited to show you what um, we did with the grant money this year. We worked on a native garden and an outdoor classroom. I'm sitting in the outdoor classroom, and it is surrounded by four native plant gardens. Let me go ahead and get started and show you how we did that. The process for us to create this native garden and outdoor classroom was the students did research, they designed the garden, they planted them, they've been maintaining and enjoying them. So the first part of this was the students researched monarch butterflies and they found out that the monarch butterflies are actually um, in peril right now. So the biology and chemistry students from nine different classes with two different teachers researched the Western monarch butterfly. And they discovered that the population is in a huge decline. In 1990, there were between three and 10 million monarch butterflies. And this year, only 2000 butterflies were, were counted. Um, we realized that we may be witnessing the collapse of the Western monarch butterfly and that they soon might become extinct. And the students were um, pretty amazed and uh, devastated by this. And um, this is the reason that the native gardens that we designed this year focused around um, monarch butterflies. So all they all the gardens that were designed were um, created to support the Western monarch population. So the first thing the students did is after their research, they designed their garden. So you can see here is a student's garden on the right. Um, and she laid out what she wanted to have in the garden. It, two of the main things you need in a monarch garden um, to support the monarchs are you need a host plant, which is going to have some native milkweed. Um, so there's different types. There's heart leaf, narrow leaf, wool pool, woolly pool, pardon me, are some of the native milkweed species. And then you need nectar plants. Nectar plants, the butterflies need to drink. So the nectar plants are sunflowers, galardia, goldenrod, desert sage, and Pacific aster. So how um, the monarch butterfly garden works is that the host plant is where the butterfly will lay her eggs, then the caterpillars um, hatch, and they eat the host plant, which is the milkweed, and the butterflies need the nectar plants. So you're a good garden needs to have both of those. It's also nice to have a tree and some larger bushes as well. So here, the first thing the students did is they decided to plant the garden in one meter squares so that they could observe what was happening and so they would know exactly where their plants were and that they could clear the different areas out. So as you can see, they're measuring and um, using string to tie off with stakes to get the, the one meter squares created. And they did this in four different areas. Um, the next thing they needed to do was weed. There were quite a few weeds, so it took a little while. So they definitely did, did their due diligence and weeded the gardens. Um, after they were done weeding, they began to dig holes and plant. And so um, they dug holes, they filled them with water, they let the water settle, and then they used really good soil. And here you can see a student is planting some milkweed, and then another student is planting some milkweed seeds right up in the top corner here. Um, we also planted gallardia. You can see that's the yellow flower. Um, and they. we also planted a few other larger um, bushes that would be nectar plants for the butterflies. Um, here's a few more pictures of the students planting in a different area. We have four different areas, like I said. Um, so they did a really great job. It was, the gardens came out amazingly beautiful. Um, here are students also planting some Torrey pine trees, which the we planted some native trees across campus um, and around the butterfly gardens as well. And 
You can see the bottom left and the top right up here are the butterfly gardens with their trees in the middle. Um, so here you can see the students enjoying their classroom. And um, in the far right picture, you can see at the top is the outdoor classroom and um, the native plant garden right in the foreground here. Here's another shot of students working outside in their outdoor classroom. And then this, this um, section of the outdoor classroom is right next to this, um, this garden that we planted. Here they are doing some maintenance. They have to continually water the trees, they have to weed, and they have to water the gardens that they planted. Um, so thank you so much. We are really so excited um, and hoping that these gardens really do make a difference and help the monarch population bounce back. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. <laughs>